Tiny 1125H2V10 runs fast. No bloat, no junk apps, low RAM use, fewer background processes. All Windows updates and features work. Store and Defender stay fully functional. Hi, this is Neil from Apatis. Let's get started. Start by creating Tiny1125H2 using the official creator tool. Open the creator from the official site. The link is in the pinned comment below. Once it loads, click Build. The tool generates your Tiny1125H2 installer automatically. If you prefer, you can download a pre-built installer from the same site. Both methods are straightforward. Tiny1125H2 gives you a clean Windows setup with no bloat, requiring about 8 gigabytes of space. You keep Defender, Microsoft Store, and all security updates. The size increased from 7 gigabytes due to the new start menu and added features. If 8 gigabytes is too large, consider Tiny 1126H1, which uses only 4 to 5 gigabytes. Make sure you have a valid Windows 11 license before proceeding. Tiny 11 only works with clean official installs. The process duration depends on your internet speed. When the creator shows build finished successfully, your installer is ready. Only download Tiny1125H2 from the official site, linked in the pinned comment. Other sources may include malware or unstable files that can harm your system. Next, use Xeno, a lightweight tool that installs Tiny1125H2 without a USB drive. Xeno is included in the package. Open it and select the Tiny1125H2 installer you prepared. Choose the target drive and make sure it contains no important files, as formatting will erase everything. Set the file system to NTFS and confirm. Let Xeno complete the process. Tiny11 installs in just a few minutes. Once finished, restart your PC. You should see a dual boot menu with Tiny11. If it doesn't appear, you can add it safely using a BCD editor like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. No USB required. No complicated steps just a direct, reliable install. If Xeno gives an error or you prefer a USB setup, Rufus works reliably. Insert a USB with at least 8 gigabytes free space. Make sure it's empty, as formatting will erase all data. Open Rufus, select your Tiny1125H2 installer, choose the USB drive, and start the write process. This usually takes 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your hardware and USB speed. When done, you'll have a bootable Tiny11 USB. Restart your PC and press the boot menu key. Most systems use F12, F8, or Escape. If unsure, check your laptop or motherboard model for the correct key. The setup is the same as standard Windows 11. Select your region and format the drive. Pick the drive for Tiny1125H2. Make sure it's empty, as the installation erases all files. Language and other settings appear after installation. Once finished, Tiny11 loads a clean desktop. For better performance without reinstalling, use Velotic. It upgrades your current system to Tiny11 in a few clicks, avoiding a full clean install. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. 
Once the installer finishes copying files, you go straight to the desktop. No OOBE. No Microsoft account. Open the Configure app and enable compression. This reduces disk usage by nearly half. The process takes a few minutes. Most users should turn it on. If your PC slows down, you can undo it with one click. Afterward, Tiny1125H2 uses about 8 gigabytes of storage. A standard Windows install takes over 40 gigabytes before adding anything. Once Tiny1125H2 is running, connect to the internet. Open the Configure app and select your browser. Chrome, Edge, Opera, and Firefox all run smoothly. Pick the one that fits your workflow. Share in the comments what matters most when choosing a browser. Every message is read. Chrome installs with one click and finishes in seconds. Once online, visit my YouTube channel and our partner channel and subscribe if you like the content. You'll also find a link to our Discord server in the description. Join to meet other Tiny11 users, get support, and preview upcoming builds. If your PC freezes, games crash, or you see out-of-memory errors, use this fix. Open the Configure app, enable Paging Files, and restart your PC. Paging files are off by default to save space. Turning them on boosts stability and prevents most crashes. Drivers are essential because they make your hardware function. Graphics, sound, Wi-Fi, touchpad, keyboard, and other components all need drivers. Without them, features stop working. Tiny11 keeps it simple. Open the Configure app, choose Install Drivers, then pick individual drivers or install all. No unsafe sites. No complicated steps. Do you need drivers? Yes. Gamers and video editors need graphics drivers. Laptop users need touchpad, touchscreen, and function key drivers. Desktop users need Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and power management drivers. Once installed, drivers keep your PC running smoothly. Tiny11 guides the process so beginners can follow easily. Why choose Premium Tiny? 1125H2, safety first. The official build stays updated and secure. Many free versions online contain malware. Optimized performance. This build stays small, fast, and bloat-free. It works well on low-end and older PCs with zero telemetry. Direct support. You get help via Discord or email. Premium Tiny. 1125H2 stays fast, secure, compatible, and fully supported. Thanks for watching. This is a Pydus signing off.